Ohio certainly know his voice. He's a Prince Edward Islander who has found a home in the NHL broadcast booth. CTV's Paul Hollingsworth sat down with the voice of the Blue Jackets, George Matthews, in Columbus. The Columbus Blue Jackets played their first game in franchise history in October of 2000. And since day one, the man behind the play-by-play -play microphone has been George Matthews. Here comes Nash, short-handed stick and scores! Rick Nash! Looking for a feel-good hockey story? We think we found one in central Ohio. Matthews from Summerside PEI spent most of his adult life chasing his NHL dream. If there's a dream in, in one's life, the dream never comes to an end until you give it up. He never did. A junior high school teacher by day, Matthews worked radio play-by-play -play part-time for the old PEI Senators and later the Summerside Western Capitals, honing his skills, hoping for an opportunity. You never think that you're going to get here. Uh, I always want to be an NHL broadcaster, but realistically, on the east coast of Canada, uh, it's a bit of a challenge to get to this level. Then one day, out of the blue, the Columbus general manager called and offered him a job. Doug McLean, who's from Prince Edward Island, a good friend of mine, uh, he gave me a chance. He said, George, if you want to get to the National Hockey League, I'm going to give you the opportunity as, a, as our radio voice, radio play-by-play -play guy. He's now closing in on a thousand NHL games. Fires! Score! Lightning quick! Matthew says he loves the work but misses the Maritimes. Because of her busy career, his wife Deborah stays home in Charlottetown during the winter. The downside of the job, uh, you are not there at times for anniversaries, birthdays, uh, deaths, those types of things because once you're locked in, uh, you're basically there. When do you measure a dream? George Matthews says that happens the moment it comes true. His dream began 12 years ago, and he's been living it ever since, and loving every moment. Paul Hollingsworth, CTV News, Columbus, Ohio. Thank you, Paul. Coming up next.